Hey guys, it's me, it's Chelsea. So a couple week or last week I made showed you how to make Christmas pudding. This is Christmas pudding. Um now it's aged a lot. Time to age. I've stirred it a little bit. A few quick stirs. And um I didn't actually put mine in an airtight container as it's suggested after you let it age for a while. But then again, I also didn't use egg. So if you use egg, you definitely want to keep this in an airtight container while it ages. So you are about to witness me steaming it in my brand new steamer for the first time ever, and I'm pretty scared that it's going to fail. Wish me luck. a lot of pudding. But actually it's not that much. Mm. Not much. Oh, and this is a traditional one. So this one's meant to be big. I meant the steamer is meant to be big. I like cut this down from tables like pounds to teaspoons <laughs> when I'm making this. Um I am pretty freaked out to use this steamer for the first time ever. Oh crap, I hope, I don't even know if there's enough. Oh no. Um, okay. Well. Oh, that tastes good. Okay. <laughs> we'll just have to see. Yeah. So, I have put this pudding in, it's definitely not over a centimeter in there. I've already put half the amount of water that is in the steamer high. Now I have to try and attach the lid. Okay. So. The steamer lid, there are two groups of circles. Oh, I see. Okay. One with two and one with three. Apply the lid by inserting the edge with the group of two circles underneath the lip at the top of the steamer base. Then press the lid down firmly down, twist it so the arrow at the top of the steamer not aligned with any of the circles. Okay. Where's the arrow? Where's the arrow? Oh, I see. Okay. It didn't click into place. <laughs> um. Oh, that's so essential this time. Okay. So then. Next, you're gonna, you're going to press the lid down. Um. Okay. So basically, once you have your pudding steamer in there, the water bath, you have to always check the water level to make sure that it does not boil down. Okay, that's essential. Even, no matter what way you make the pudding. So we're going to put the lid on top. And then... Pray to God this works. Okay, so normally the alternative way that I... I will try and show you at least once with one of the puddings I make the way that I do it. Um, you can either have it in a little pan, like a little a bunting pan or something or even a round pan and then I would wrap that up in wax in a tin foil and then a layer of wax paper and tie it up with string and then you would put it in there I think they usually almost I, I've always had them cook um so 
Either way, but I'm really nervous. So this now has to bake for 12 hours, guys. The Christmas pudding needs to be in there for 12 hours. Wish me luck. Because um, that's a very expensive steamer. And I can either in that pot and the steamer um, all in one go. <laughs> the only time I've ever overcooked a tradi or traditional Christmas pudding was when I made two at once. I made a fat-free fat one and a traditional one. And I steamed the traditional one on the stove top like you normally do. And I steamed the fat-free one in the oven, like the alternative way suggested. And I'm totally burnt to a crisp in the pan. Ruined the pan. So don't recommend using the oven. I recommend using the stove. Okay. Wish me luck. Fingers crossed. Bye, everybody.